Hello. Welcome. <laughs> it is Monday, July 31st, 2017. Busy Phillips in for Kelly Ripa today. Hi, guys. How you been? It's been just a couple of weeks since I've I seen know. You. It's been a month, but I feel like a lot's happened. How are you? I'm excellent. I had uh, a week off and went to the beach, and it was the... The week of friends vacation where we all get together, the group of friends get together, and one of my friends, Michelle, she likes to throw a costume party during the week. That's cute. It's, it's always a lot of fun. It's like Halloween in July. Exactly. However, when you're my size, you never fit into a store-bought adult costume. <laughs> what? Ryan, you're making it sound like you're a child-sized. <laughs> this is it. Um, so I'll just gonna show you the picture. <laughs> Everyone looks so perfect and fantastic. And then I put on this drape for what Greek are... night. Oh. It, no, then don't woo. It, you look great. It's dragging across the floor. I'm tripping all over it. It, uh, it's, it's puffy on the bottom right here. I like here. the cuffs. What? Real beard? Yeah, that's real beard, Gelman. You ever, that's you ever, his vacation yeah. beard. You ever thought about growing one? Yeah. <laughs> can, can you? Yeah. <laughs> um, but th it made me, again, look forward to the show we've always seen here, the Halloween costume show, because I'll actually You're finally gonna get, look costume. They're going to they're gonna trick you out. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what you're going to be. Well, it's gonna, there's a lot there's of options this year. Some diabolical <laughs> yeah, giggling going on. going on. Wait, now, so I have a question for you, because mm. I've been on vacation now for way too many weeks, and you strike me as the type of person that, like, goes on vacation but keeps it kind of, like, on lock. Like, in terms of, like, I feel like you still work out, and you, or do you, do you let no, it I let all it, go? I, I let it go. I, you I, do? I do. I eat all the things that I don't normally eat, uh -huh. and I try not to go to the gym, and I try not to check my phone, although I do a couple times a day. But I try for a couple of, of the, I get a few weeks a year off. And right. for those few weeks a year, I try to disconnect. Yeah, because you're somebody you, that I think of as just being like, you're so, you know, you go, 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 go. So I just imagine that you're vacation mode, but it's nice to hear that your vacation vacation mode is like... And do you disconnect? I know you got the kids. I let it all go. You let it all go. I let it all go. And my husband's a real pusher. Like, it's like, let's get more fried oysters. Let's, right. like, have more. And so now I'm at... You're obligated when you're not in your regular routine to do anything that's not in your regular routine. It's true. It's true, and I think it's good. I think it's good to take a break. Gelman says he does, you, you're, you're at 80-20. 80-20, yeah. Okay. Well, he's, Gelman, that's good for you. He's <laughs> Mr. Perfect. By the way, I, I will say, you look like you've been, were you up late last night? Yeah, I had a long night well, early morning. Well, he was, he's been celebrating. We should uh, give some props to his wife, Lori yeah. Gelman, whose book, Class Mom, number one on the Amazon new release chart. <laughs> They've been checking the, yes. the tallies all weekend. That's great. Yeah. It was my summer beach read, yeah. and I loved it. It's Thank a great you. book, and especially, I mean, I think if you're not a mom, you can relate, but I think as a mother who has school-age children, <laughs> very relatable, guys. Check the book out. I it's can, great. I can just tell he was up late yeah. drinking red wine because you yeah, have the rosy red cheeks. Red yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not from the sun. No, you're right. <laughs> so what did you get into over the weekend? Well, I was here in New York, and there's a music festival, the Panorama Music Festival. I'm into that. Yeah, well, I had I had never been either, and um, on Saturday, my husband Mark and I were like, what are we going to do today? And I said, oh, I think Belle and Sebastian's playing at the Panorama. Let's go. And so we went, and it was so chill. It was like the most, I go to I go to music festivals. Yeah. I see Coachella? a lot of, I've been to Coachella for the last 13 years in a row. You guys, it's a full commitment. <laughs> I mean, you have to be prepared I've gone before it was, like, cool to go, and now it's not cool again, and I'm still going to go. <laughs> but every year we go with a group of people, a group of friends of mine. Like, I'm now, like, past the age where I need to start bringing my children in order for it to be cool for me to go to Coachella. Like, I'm, like, the, like past the age. But every year we go to Coachella, and we eat this spicy pie, and I found it at Panorama. So I sent it to my group of friends in L.A. that we all go and eat spicy pie at Coachella. And then my friend Josh Myers, who's an actor, sent this picture right back. And I was like, well, that's... Are you here? Oh, he's at the same place. And yes, and he photo. was there. And then we met up at the tent seeing Alt-J. So yeah, so there's... You know Josh Myers. But who's this? That's, what, that's Josh Myers. That, he looks like Matthew McConaughey. He does look like look McConaughey. I mean, look, 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 hold, hold that up. 
That literally looks like Matthew McConaughey. Are you sure Guys, that's Josh Myers? It was really Matthew McConaughey. No, that would be amazing if it was Matthew McConaughey. Oh my God, it was so exciting. That's funny. Um, so yeah, so we had like a really fun time and I found the entire festival to be very mellow and cool and um, I, was, I was a fan of the festival. So it was good. Who were the artists? Well, we saw um, Belle and Sebastian, who I love, and I met the lead singer and I was too shy to ask for a picture. But my friend Amy Schumer was like, I'm not. And so she asked, and we got a picture. Um, and then it was really exciting because he was like, "Will you send me that picture?" I'm like, "Do I get your phone number?" Okay. Um, and Alt J and this band Pine Grove that's from New Jersey that I love. We I haven't been... heard of any of those bands, and I'm and I'm a DJ. I think we listen to different kinds of music. Yeah, I think Ryan. so. I play the hits. You do. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, count them down. No, I don't mean that. I'm just saying a play that the, the pop hits, you know? The pop hits are the, different than the kind of music I've ever, down. yes, Reaching listened to. Reaching the beaches, to. rocking the docks, running late and What did you great. do? What did you get up to? You got back. So, I, I got back, but I, a friend of mine sent me, I, I've been riding the subway since I've been in New York, and it's it's new to me since I now live here, and uh, I'm always uh, in awe of the performers or the things that I see in the subway. So, a friend of mine knows that I love things that are exciting on the subway and sent me this photo of apparently someone who was invited to a barbecue and decided to bring their barbecue to the party on the oh my God. <laughs> Either that or they're running the freshest food grill in all of New York City. But if you look closely, he's exhausted because he's napping on top oh no. of the grill. It's been a hard barbecue. It's, been, it's hard to lug that thing around in the subway. Wait, this was, there was a, there was an article, there was a giant peacock riding the New York subway See? in Brooklyn. I just can't get enough of it. Um, I mean, my favorite is, look at everybody on their phones. No, no, no one's even looking at the peacock. Only, only new <laughs> residents and tourists will pay attention. That is hysterical. I like the subway, but I like, I like being above ground and seeing it all go yeah. by. Well, it's been traffic. It's the only way to get downtown. That's true. That is very true. So we were talking about uh, vacationing and getting away. Imagine this, right? You, you work all year. You get your kids out of school. It's time for your vacation weekend or week, and you book your hotel or your, your condo, whatever it is, and you drive out to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Oh, I've vacationed there many times. Right? It's, mm -hmm. it's great. We have a fan, one fan on the right. <laughs> It's beautiful. Who's vacationed with you. Um, <laughs> yes. And you get out there and the power is out in the whole community. No. And it's out for a long period of time. And so they say, sorry, you've got to go back home. And so your vacation is ruined because oh, of the no. power outage. That is but a that's also buzzkill. like, it's, it's a huge business for the Outer Banks. I mean, they do those vacation rentals from Saturday to Saturday. It, like, it's a huge, I mean, they must be, how long has it been out for? Well, it's been, I guess it was out for long enough for them to turn them Fifth away. Day. Don't they offer vacation insurance sometimes yes. I always think that's I've a never scam. bought it never I've mind. never bought it but maybe in this case maybe should you should buy it, it. Yeah. maybe it's not such a scam I always think that it is <laughs> what else okay so you're new to the city mm -hmm. do you walk and text yeah absolutely you do and it, and in fact so much so I've walked right past Kelly Ripa on the street have you really yeah <laughs> Mm -hmm. she, we almost did, and then she stopped and thought I was Justin Bieber because I had a camouflage hoodie on. That's not true. No, she, th <laughs> she thought that, or she said, a woman from the gym. <laughs> that, go back and look at the tape. That's what she said. Okay, well, in Honolulu, the mayor is signing a bill into uh, law that it will be illegal and will impose fines on pedestrians who are caught looking at their phones while crossing the street. I had a close call last week in New York with a bike where I almost was like, I mean, I would have been, it would have, I would have been mangled by the bike. The bike almost hit you. Yeah, because yeah. I was, I actually wasn't texting, but I was on the phone and therefore distracted. And I had my little headset in and was talking and walking. And I looked the way where the cars come and the bike was coming the other way. Well, um, so I don't think it's a bad, bad law. It's not a bad idea. I mean, none of us are going to abide by it, but it's not a bad idea. I, yeah, I don't know how you would enforce it in New York. It's impossible. How do you walk into people, right? You've been on your phone, you just, you, you, or you almost walk into people. Um, I, th I think that's going to be something that will never be a law here in New York City. Yeah. Now, what? I'm curious, your kids, do they yes. have like a, a 
blankie or a teddy yeah. bear or something that yeah. they always want to Cricket watch. has a sheepy. What's a sheepy? A sheepy is a little sheep. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> a sheepacita. It's a, it's a little sheep, a sheepy. And we've actually been on the lookout for another for another sheepy in case something goes wrong and we lose sheepy, sheepy one. And we finally just found another sheepy and we bought it. And she's like, that's not the same sheepy. Like she knew she immediately. Yeah. And, and Birdie has actually, Birdie sleeps with my teddy bear from childhood. Oh, that's cute. Radar. Yeah. Radar. Radar. It's such a sweet name. Uh, <laughs> Big Bird's Radar. teddy bear was named Radar. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. So right, I wasn't sense. that original, Ryan. Um, I, I, I didn't sleep with Garfield, but I had Garfield the cat as my. <laughs> okay, it got silent. No. <laughs> I just, when did I get rid of him? The last season, the final season of Idol. <laughs> so I was just, I said, all right, I'm just going to turn a new Ryan, leaf. Ryan, wait, I, before you, I have to tell you guys something. This is, I've revealed this on social media, but never in such public a forum. I still sleep with my baby blanket. Again, silence. No, you guys, there's a whole, there's like a ton of people online that have been like, yeah, me too. I'm 37. My mom, the joke was that my mom always would say, and you say this a lot when you have kids, like, well, she'll never go to college with it. Like, you know, well, she'll be, she'll be, there's no way she'll take that pacifier to middle school. Well, my mom's joke was like, well, if she still has this baby blanket, I'm going to sew it into her wedding dress. And she sewed it into my wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> she sewed in parts of it to my wedding dress, but I still have it. And like, my girls use it. Like, it's around. My baby it makes, blanket's around. It makes everybody feel safe. Yes, I love it. Well, so Sorry, you'll, the, you'll, too you'll, much information. No, no, it's good. Okay. You'll appreciate this then. Uh, a four-year-old boy, he lost his teddy bear at the Dallas airport. And oh. so he was distraught and he was in tears and very upset. And they sent out the airport search team to find <laughs> no, the not. teddy bear. They did? The search team? <laughs> online, please, as well for assistance. And shortly thereafter, no. Luke was reunited with Wait, his turn teddy it, bear. Turn it. There we, where Other is way. Oh, no. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Luke was reunited with his teddy bear. Luke. I thought the fact they, they have the whole airport looking I mean, for forget them. it if you lose your cell phone, you're out of luck. But I, a little boy and his teddy bear, yeah. they're like scrambling to find it. It was meant to be. That's really sweet. We've got a great show for you today. Matthew McConaughey yeah. is also here, not only in your photo. I know. My old friend James Vanderbeek wow, is here. Wait. So excited. I see show. So cool. Yeah, it's yeah. really to talk to him about it. And we begin our summer selfie makeovers here. We will make over Emily Egan from Minnesota. That's coming Woo! just a little bit. Uh -oh. Cover your cups. You know what it's time for. It's time for Summer Seas Travel. That is Pat Kane from Grand Blank, Michigan. Yeah? Hi, Pat. Hey, Pat. Nice to see you, buddy. Hello. Great moves. Yeah. Just fix your shirt there. Just fix it. <laughs> oh. There, there you go. All right. You got, We're good. Yeah, We're good. Balance it up. Let's say hello to uh, Judy Ebenetter from Las Vegas, Nevada, who's on the line. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dizzy. Hi, Ryan. How you doing, Judy? Oh, I'm doing pretty good today. Hey, what's it like to actually, a lot of us visit Las Vegas. What's it like to live there on a regular basis? It's pretty much like living any place else in the United States. You just, we don't live anywhere near the Strip. We only go down on the Strip when it's... We got company or something. It's yeah. just regular everyday life. But doesn't everybody want to come stay with you? They want to hang out and be there and. and... I live in a senior community with a one bedroom apartment. Nobody wants to come stay with me. That's out of the question. Judy says no. <laughs> we, we, we would stay with you, Judy. <laughs> All right, Judy, let's see what you're playing for. <laughs> You are playing for the Trade Winds Island Resort, St. Pete's Beach, Florida. Seven nice. days, six nights, three meals daily, a spa treatment per person, sunset cruise for two. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com, value $6,400. Judy, you have 20 seconds and only one guess, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Paula Patton appeared on Friday's show. Which of her movie co-stars did Paula say surprised her with an on-screen kiss. Ooh. Ooh, Tom Cruise. Done. Yes! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Trade Winds Island Resorts on St. Pete Beach in Florida's West Coast. Consistently ranked one of America's top beaches by TripAdvisor. Enjoy endless beach activities, dining and beach bars, and exciting kids programs, spacious accommodations, and more. Trade Winds Island Resorts. Enjoy life and just let go. Your prize is valued at approximately $6,400. Judy, congratulations again. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. So you can help a lucky member of our studio audience receive a $500 gift card from World Market. Just pick a number between 1 and 214. Uh, I'll pick 16. 16. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey will be right back. Tomorrow's show from the new film, The Dark Tower, Idris Elba's. Day really? on the set, and so. But that's kind yeah. of an amazing experience. I just think it's so cool for kids when you when you have parents that work in this industry and they get to travel all over yep. the world and they get exposed. I find my children make incredible developmental leaps yeah. anytime. Culture. In, yeah. Culture's yeah. been my best educator. I mean, no doubt about it. Let's learn to block and tackle, learn our math and how to read. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but, but after that, getting culture, yeah. and, you know, I mean, a great thing, uh, example of what a, a man or a woman is, check out their passport. You know, that says a lot about somebody. My kids' passports are already getting full. Lots of standards. <laughs> well, what kind of culture did you all experience in Mauritius? Well, Mauritius is a, uh, an island. It's, it's three main cultures. It's um, Hindu, so it has a large Indo influence. It's Muslim, and it's Creole. And there's no typical interesting. I Mauritian. Know. I didn't know. Yeah. There's no typical looking Mauritian. I mean, you could be from Mauritius. You could be from Mauritius. In, in all shapes, size, and colors, they're from Mauritius. Um, it's a beautiful little island. It's over 500,000 people. Um, it's really, everyone fishes. <clears throat> and um, interior, it was made by a volcano, so there's great mm -hmm. waterfalls in the interior. We've hiked off and we've done a lot of hiking when we had the weekends. We've gone deep sea fishing. We swam at the dolphins. Did um, you catch any fish? 186 pound tuna. What? what? <laughs> Does you it go to market? Do you feed the village? You do. And you and you have sashimi right there. How do you was it incredible? Five minutes after. How do you reel something It took that about long? 40, 45 minutes to reel in. Um, that the tuna's strong fish, they go deep, and when it goes, you back you're backing the boat up to let it take the line. You want to let it take the line. But isn't as that soon as it gets a, tired? That's an extremely rare catch. I mean, people aren't just showing up on a regular basis think, and no, I, I was a big time. man, you know big men when I showed up on the app. <laughs> but after I caught this fish, I'm a very big, big man. Big man. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, that is the size of, of me and a, like 100 cans of tuna. <laughs> yeah. That's a big tuna. It's a big yeah. what do you bait? What do you bait them with? We caught that with live bait. I think we were pulling with uh, fillets of bonito, which is a, a, a very bloody fish. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not only staying in uh, airstreams, but also you recently were in a treehouse? Yeah, yeah, Ohio. yeah. That was in, we, we shot uh, film White Boy Rick in, in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I didn't know this about Ohio. <laughs> Cleveland? Yeah. We loved Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland gets a bad rap. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland's cool. Um, How'd you find yeah, a treehouse? Yeah, we're, uh, we're... Camilla went online, and we had an open weekend, and we went out to, I think it's called Mohican uh, uh, Forest, and we this guy had these uh, treehouse hotels. And I think my uh, my wife Instagrammed it. It was really cool. We took the kids, we fished, uh, you know, bass fishing, and then went and stayed in the treehouse all night. I mean, I do have to say, of, like, any movie star that I could think of, I would think of you in a treehouse. Like, yeah. you seem like that's... Thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, ta I, take, I take that as a compliment. He likes that. Yeah. So, thinking back to what was the, the, the big moment where you felt like you had become a super a global superstar was it the movie of sandra bullock a time to kill time to kill right Absolutely. i mean that, that was the, the pivotal <laughs> point that was the, oh, oh God, that was the weekend yeah when <laughs> everything when changed. Things changed and the world became a mirror yeah what does that mean though when the world becomes a mirror well i mean for instance i'm walking down third street promenade the yeah. friday before time to kill opens there's 400 people, 396 are not looking at me. Four of them may be looking at me and saying, hey, I like what that guy's wearing. Monday <laughs> after that <laughs> film opened, it completely inverted. 396 out of those 400 were looking at me and four weren't. And first thing you do is you start going, 
check your fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so that's what I mean. The world becomes a mirror. Um, you don't meet many strangers anymore yeah. because now people, you know, they, they knew me or knew of me. And uh, um, yeah, things change. I remember the first time going through the, uh, I was getting my groceries and uh, the supermarket. I looked over there and I was on the two magazine covers. And I remember going, having a little reaction. And then I said, <laughs> I think I'll buy three of each. <laughs> <laughs> was it hard, was it hard to stay grounded and remain Yay. true to yourself? Sure, I mean it was a little um, unbalancing, and, 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 and I wrote it and, and enjoyed it. But I did need to go get away to go hear my own self think. Where, so you, where I can you go? Well, there's not many places yeah. to go. So I found I, I went chasing down my favorite musician Ali Farcatore, who was uh, lives in a little town called Niafunke in the country of Mali, Africa, and so I just. Took a one-way ticket there, hitchhiked down, and went on this trip to go find this guy. And ended up being a 21-day backpacking trip with myself. And you know, it's uh, I needed that. It was time I needed it. wanted to check in with me. You know, since I'm stuck with myself. Did anybody ask what you were wearing, or did you completely escape? <laughs> no, I went under. I was under, under a different name, and I said I was a writer and a boxer. <laughs> And they didn't give a damn about the writing part, but they were yeah. very interested in the boxing, the boxing part. Oh, interesting. And that's a longer story. But <laughs> we'll come back to Matthew McConaughey in just a second. Stay with us. Matthew McConaughey and the Dark Tower, which is a Stephen King novel. Yeah. And I was, I was just saying in the break, I, I was watching it last night, and he gets to play for the first time, I think I've seen it, an evil character. But I was trying to figure out how am I going to explain what this movie is, and I figured, you should do it. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best. I play uh, uh, Walter, the man in black, not evil. Um, Idris is the last in line of these gunslingers, these knights. We're talking about multiple universes, and he's chasing me. All right, I, there's a tower that is the vortex that holds the universe together. I'm trying to bring that tower down. I bring that tower down. Chaos uh, consumes everyone. He's the last one that can keep the tower standing. He's the last one that can take me down. Um, and there's eight books by Stephen King. Right. This is an amalgamation of pieces of all eight of those oh, books. Okay. It is the mythic, old mythic tale of good versus evil, and it's a very original uh, way. And if this works out, we, we're going to tell a, a few more of these really? stories. That's yeah. so cool. Did you, did you enjoy playing bad? Because this is not... Playing bad so much yeah. fun. <laughs> we will never I mean, there's, see you being there's good There's endless again. material. <laughs> For how to be evil and how to have fun doing it. What do your kids right. think about you being the bad guy? Well, they're not going to see this one no. yet. <laughs> <laughs> but they know. They know. They know. No, they, they know I'm the bad guy. Now. Yeah, they, 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 they know I'm the, the man in black. Um, I think they think, it, you know, the oldest one thinks it's, it's kind of cool, but they're like, well, you know. Why did we, why didn't you play the good guy? Like, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta have the bad guy to show the good guy. The good, the bad guy's more fun. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and had you had you read all of those novels? I guess you'd have. Absolutely, have no, 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 no. There, I had never even read a page of them before no. I got the script. Then I dove into them, and they're not. They're not books quick that you reads. skim through. Yeah. No, they're long, and there's eight of them, and I'm through five and a half of them right now. Um, and as I said, with, if people like this one, we're going to bring you another one well, let's, next year. Well, let's tell them where it's going to be. The yes. Dark Tower in theaters this Friday, August 4th. If you like it, they'll make more. Next up, James Van Der Beek. Real time, real time. Yeah. 71 degrees. Well, he shot to fame in the 90s and has been a film and television star ever since. Please welcome the super talented, my friend, James Van Der Beek. Yeah. Nice to see you, James. Nice to see you, too. It's like a homecoming, right, when you come. Oh, man, this is fun. Yeah. What's it like for you? You grew up here. Yeah, I grew up in Connecticut. Yeah. Just, uh, I would take the train into New York when I was 15, um, going many bad auditions. Yeah, didn't you do theater when you were a kid? Yeah, I started out doing theater. I started out doing uh, off-Broadway theater here when I was 16. Yeah, while I was going to high school, I'd come in and do, like, eight shows a week and make no money and loved it. 
I love so that you cool. get to ask him questions. You know him so well. I know the right. answers like, to them. Like, I'm not going to lie. All the questions. Like, I, we've already been here. through this. Yeah, so yeah. We, you were together on Dawson's Creek. We were together on a little television yeah. show called Dawson's Creek. Yeah. <laughs> and you helped him through some... Difficult, strange, Listen, weird times? <laughs> it was weird for both of us. We were both in weird places. Yes, yes, for sure. I, well, I, so I, would, I got married very young, and then I got divorced, and then I was single for the first time, having not been single in a very long time. And Busy and Mark were like my single counselors. I was not equipped for single life at all. But you know what? It's, luckily, you found the woman of your dreams. I did. And you have this beautiful family. I did, thank God. The father of four. Thank God, yeah. Four, four. four. Amazing. Four. Hi. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, Amelia. Oh, hey, look guys. at these. Okay, are you kidding me? Dad of the year with your all your kids and horses. Right all the kids. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all four right there. We're uh, that's a three hour. Experience. We're looking for bananas. Yeah. <laughs> you found them. We found. <laughs> um, how old is the little one? She is sixteen months. Now. Sixteen months, and yeah. then and then the your oldest son is. Well, my Olivia oh. is the oldest. She's oh, Olivia, six. yeah, six. Yeah. So four kids under the age of six. Okay. six yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. so. You look great for that. You're doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep is not something we really value. Do no. you? I see you get to the grocery store. Do you get a chance to take them on holidays, vacations? Yeah, we LA? travel all the time. We've traveled with them uh, since the very beginning when they were really young, and and they love it. Man, we just. Uh, yeah, we just pile them. We used to, we used to just pile them up in the well, the minivan. 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 We rock the minivan big time. Cool. Yeah. And you do road trips. We do road trips. Are there any like travel rules you stick to? Uh, well, we recently so we used to just throw everybody in a minivan and just drive until somebody says I have to pee. And then <laughs> That was kind of like our one rule. Um, and then recently we flew somewhere and a friend of ours had a connection with this uh, charter jet company. Uh huh. And so the kids flew private. Wow. I think it's going to be really hard to go back to the minivan. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. You're going to lose your kids. Well, it's like any time. I mean, my children sometimes will get on a plane. And Birdie will be like, why are we Why are we going to the back of the plane? Why can't we sit in the front? I'm like, well, because I'm paying. And if someone That's else wants to be. pay, we can sit in the front, my dear. But get used to it. How many years have you been married? It'll be seven years tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Happy yeah. anniversary. Yeah. We don't want to ruin any surprises, but no. have you have you made anniversary plans? I have. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a tradition on the anniversary? Well, the tradition of the, my wife is going to laugh is is that I'm working right. <laughs> on my anniversary, uh, which could be worse. But uh, but yeah, we'll we'll have a little bit of time tomorrow. That's so nice. what is the? I mean, Kelly always says it's a diamond anniversary for yeah. every anniversary. Every anniversary is a diamond. What, what, if you look this one up, what is it? Have you looked it up? Uh, maybe another kid. I don't another know. kid. Uh, no. <laughs> really? Would you, no, it's wool copper. Co is it it's wool copper. or copper? Yeah. Wood oh, or yeah. copper? That's yeah. Don't no wool or copper. I would suggest. Well, I didn't want to ruin the surprise, Ryan. But... <laughs> <laughs> I got Mark for our seven year. I got him a copper pot, like an antique copper pot. Oh, nice. like, well, make, awesome. make he definitely for me. he definitely loves you. Do you really would love it if I got our copper yeah. pot? She'd be so stoked. Right? That's yeah, she would love it. Really exciting. Do yeah. you think the kids will follow in your footsteps in the business? Oh, man. Um, I mean, one of them in particular has definitely got the, the defective actor gene. <laughs> I, can, I can see it, man. We were, we were in a music class. We are doing that me, 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 you, you, you song. And she got up and she just started pointing at people from the you part like this. And everybody started laughing. And usually kids, they just they laugh along with you. And she saw the laughter and realized, oh, it's because of this. And she doubled down on her character. Yeah. <laughs> and I took to my wife. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. This <laughs> is me. This is it. Yeah. We'll take a break. Coming up, we'll find out what happened when James stepped on stage in front of thousands of people disguised as someone else. Right after this. It's James Vanderbeek in the new show, What Would Diplo Do? Okay, so James, for anyone who doesn't know, who is Diplo? Uh, well, that's usually the first question uh, with people of a certain age when I <laughs> they want to know what I'm doing. Um, Diplo is a DJ, 
uh, produ music producer and international superstar. He's, I would, <laughs> what I tell people, he's like the Frank Sinatra of electronic dance music. Right. Cool. Yeah. But he also, he, he produces and is featured on a lot of tracks that are on the top 40 You've even right now. You've definitely heard his music if you listen to the radio at all. In the I mean, Justin Bieber's Where Are You Now? He made the Skrillex. Yeah. Like it's, you know. So what's this, explain this series. I, I watched it last night. I literally laughed out loud. It's so very cool funny, here, especially yeah. knowing the music world. Yeah. Um, what's this series about? Explain it to people. Okay, so um, I play a fictional version of Diplo <laughs> in, in a show that's kind of like, like in our lofty ass ambitions, we're like Spinal Tap meets The Office. Right. Kinda. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, he was just totally down to take the piss out of himself and the whole, like, DJ music culture. Well, that's the beauty of it, is you could tell he's cool with making fun of himself yeah. and that whole world. Yeah. And you wrote the season? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wrote it. Um, yeah. Did you shadow him? <laughs> did you ever go to one of his shows? I did, yeah. I um, <laughs> hung out with him a little bit, got the, you know, the impression down. Well, yes, which is? Which is, well, well, the, well, the, the, well the impression is like, because the rhythm's a little bit Latin, kind of, but then there's like a, a Philadelphia influence, and then sometimes oh, there's like a I little, love little it. like, like he enunciates yeah. certain things, so, um, and then when I talk about him, I start to talk like him, which is weird, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I shouted him, and I, we threw me up on stage as him at two different shows in front of like 30,000 people. And did people think, because you guys do look similar, in Los Angeles there are huge DJ billboards all over, and yeah. I have... Stop, I've thought that Diplo was you before. Oh, That's really? A true That's story. Funny. Yeah, that is. Yeah, a true I, I could be a stunt double from like 20 feet away. Well, when you right. put the hat on, you kind of. Yeah, with the dad hat and the mustache, go. it works. There's actually a billboard on Sunset Boulevard right there. There it is. That's a huge billboard. What do your kids is. think when they see those big billboards with their dad's <laughs> face on them? We, we took the kids to see the billboard on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And um, the grocery store, the billboard. I, I was so excited to show the kids. And I had uh, Annabelle, my three-year-old, and I was trying to show her. The problem is there's a Cars 3 billboard wow. right next to it. You can't, James, you can't compete with Cars 3. Cannot yeah. compete well, at all. <laughs> what will Diplo funny. do yeah. premieres Thursday at 10 p.m. on Vice Land. Thanks so much, James. Coming up next, our summer selfie makeover. We'll be right back. Well, Lizzie, who doesn't love a makeover? I love makeover so much. I and know. who doesn't? I love taking selfies because I love taking selfies. Well, of course, and you're good at them. <laughs> I really am. So all this week, we are combining the two and doing a summer selfie makeover week. And to get us started is the man behind the makeovers, our fashion guy, Lawrence Zarian. Lawrence! Yay, Lawrence! Nice to see Great you. Great to see you back here. So how's it going? How are things shaping yeah, up? Yeah, how's... I have to tell you, we have five amazing women, and they all happen to be moms of all stages, from newborn to adult kids, and they were all thrilled to yeah. have a little holiday away from the kids. Yeah. They're like, we need to be pampered a little bit. I yeah. mean, I am a mom, and I do have to say that that thing of, like, where you get your groove back is a real thing. Oh. Like, you have a moment where you're like, I'm never going to be able to get dressed again. Like, you know, and then you have, when, once you do, then you're back. Well, yeah, so the ladies have been so ready to go. Well, tell us about our first, first girl today, Emily Egan. She's 26. She's from Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got a hot dish in the house, got a great girl, and you know, the thing that she said is she said she's been running around for so long, she said, Lawrence, I feel like a girl, but I want to be a glamorous woman. And her boy Crosby, a year and a half. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to read a portion of her letter yeah. here. Uh, it says, I wear moo moo pajamas <laughs> all day long, chasing after our 17-month-old son. Makeup is the last thing on my mind. Getting groceries at the store with big sunglasses has people wondering, is she famous and trying to blend in? <laughs> She says, nope, I'm hiding my dark circles from the eyes from lack of sleep. Being a mom is my favorite and most rewarding adventure, but I look back at pictures of myself and think, wow, who was that sexy fox? Where has she gone? Aww. I need a reminder of what that woman looked like and who she is. Aww. Well, we, we reminded her in a big way, but let's remind everybody what she looked like before the makeover. Okay. Emily Egan, a new mom, very sweet. Are you ready to see the transformation? Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Let's do, let's... Okay, here she goes. Oh. Wow! What's happening? Oh, Lizzie. Oh my God, you look beautiful! Ryan. You look incredible. How do you feel? 
Oh my gosh, my son is a year and a half and I've just been so caught up taking care of him and I haven't really taken time for myself. Yeah. And well, I you can throw like away the sunglasses for sure. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so walk we'll us through. Well, what, em, what you know, you she said, Emily said, I just want to feel like a glamorous woman mm -hmm. and ask and we knocked yeah, it out. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, <laughs> right? So first stop was Oscar Blondie. Yeah. And Gloria with a spoon Frisco, I had her take off at least 10 inches of dead hair. Wow. So she cut off the hair and then she added longer layers for more body and bounce. And then John and Nikrovec and I had a long discussion about the color. Because when we got Emily, there was boxed color. It was boxed purple, boxed black, boxed blonde. So it was layer after layer after layer. So John had to strip it out. Right. And then she warmed it up and then painted in some beautiful highlights, but it took 10 different processes to get to this. Oh, wow, that's, so, a, that's a long day in the hair yes, salon. Yes, yes, and, and then here's the tip, ladies. If you're gonna use boxed color, make sure it's very close to your own hair color and say goodbye to those drastic colors because it destroys your hair. Ladies and guys, too. Yes. Like, you know, guys For those can make yeah, yeah, yeah. boxed yeah, yeah. Guys, well. too, Ryan, so, yeah. yeah. So what, what's your favorite part? My what hair is shorter and still stylish. I can change diapers without it falling in. I can do the dish without it getting in the dishwasher and it still looks great. You look amazing. Yeah, Thank it looks you. fantastic. Okay, let's split the screen real quick right here. Mm -hmm. It's the before and the after. <laughs> and let me just say this. With the makeup, you know, Michelle Champagne did your makeup yeah. this morning as well. With the makeup, because it's summer, for more of a dewy finish on your skin, use a cream blush and a cream eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And then I put in one of the hottest trends, this one shoulder jumper. Love and it's all about the shoulders. I mean, this yeah. summer. Stunning. Yeah. It's stunning. Let's grab a selfie with it. Yes. We're going to take a selfie. So good. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.